Love this look? These distinctive planners are easy to make and even easier on your budget. Planters can cost a lot, so why not whip up a bunch with a batch of Hyper Tufa? One of the main benefits of Hyper Tufa, it's so much lighter than concrete. It's a mix of one part Portland cement, one part peat moss, one part perlite or vermiculite, and water. When you're mixing, make sure you wear a mask, and you definitely want to wear gloves. Mix the dry ingredients first. If there are big chunks that won't break up, just toss them out. Then add the water, a little at a time so it doesn't get too soupy. The amount of water is going to vary, but it's pretty close to a one-to-one -one ratio. You're looking for a consistency, sort of like cottage cheese. Almost anything will work as your mold when you're creating your planter. Just make sure you spray it really well with cooking spray. That makes releasing it a whole lot easier. Press the Hyper Tufa into the mold. If you want a more finished looking center, use a smaller container inside the larger one. But be sure you spray the outside of the smaller container with cooking spray as well. If you don't like to get messy, this is not a project for you. To make your pots even cooler, try giving them a texture. The texture on this planter came from a carpet pad like this. Just put it in the mold, spray it, and then pack in the Hyper Tufa. This texture? Bubble wrap. Once your mold's all packed, tap the outside with a rubber mallet to release any air bubbles. Then cover the planter with a plastic bag for at least 24 hours. To unmold your pot, twist out the center and pop out your planter. I can feel the center is still a little wet. This planter has only been drying about 24 hours, so it needs a little more dry time to come out of the mold more easily. I let this dry for another 24 hours. Let's unmold it. It comes out a lot more easily if you don't fill it all the way to the top. And you're just gonna work this little guy out of here. And there it is. Once you get your planter all unmolded, you need to be patient. It takes at least three weeks for it to dry enough for you to pot it up, but it's totally worth the wait.